They say that danger lurks around every corner, but for some places in the world, this is more true than others. While Dubai is known for its stunning architecture, luxurious hotels, and world-class attractions, there are certain areas within the city that should be approached with caution. In this video article, we'll be taking you on a thrilling journey through the top 10 places to avoid in Dubai. So fasten your seatbelts because we're about to explore the hidden dangers of this otherwise breathtaking city. The first place on our list is Deira. This is the oldest district in Dubai, a place of rich history and bustling soaks. However, it's important to know that Deira is also one of the poorest districts, mainly populated by workers from abroad, including Nepal, India, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, and China. While Deira may hold tourist interest due to its authentic charm and traditional markets, visitors are advised against choosing a hotel in this area due to limited amenities and potential safety concerns. The district can be crowded and lacks some of the modern conveniences and safety features found in other parts of Dubai. Deira's appeal lies in its vibrant markets such as the Gold Souk and the Spice Souk, where visitors can immerse themselves in the sights, sounds, and aromas of traditional Arabian Bazaar. However, the bustling nature of these markets can create an environment prone to pickpocketing and petty theft. Tourists should exercise caution and be vigilant of their belongings while exploring Deira. Additionally, due to the high concentration of workers in the area, especially during peak hours, transportation can be chaotic and traffic congestion is common. While Deira offers a glimpse into the authentic Dubai experience, it's important to prioritize safety. Next up is Sanapur. Located approximately 13 kilometers from the international airport, Sanapur is not your typical district, but rather a camp that resembles a slum. Here, over 150 impoverished workers gather as they cannot afford to live in central Dubai. The living conditions in Sanapur are marked by shacks and precarious circumstances, which contrast starkly with the wealth and luxury of the city's immense towers. Some of the challenges faced by these workers are a lack of proper sanitation, cramped living spaces, and limited access to basic amenities. Visitors are advised to avoid venturing into this area due to the potential risks and the stark contrast it presents to the opulence of Dubai's main attractions. The area lacks proper sanitation facilities, which can result in unhygienic conditions. The presence of large groups of workers in a confined space also increases the risk of infectious diseases. Furthermore, the lack of basic amenities and limited access to essential services can make Sanapur a challenging place for tourists to navigate. While Sanapur's existence highlights the socio-economic disparity within Dubai, it is advisable for tourists to focus on exploring the city's more developed areas that offer a comfortable experience with less risk. Talking of risks, Bird Dubai is another one with no shortage of risks. Known for its historical sites and vibrant atmosphere, Bird Dubai may pose safety concerns to visitors. With attractions such as the Dubai Museum, the Dubai Creek, and the lively Mina Bazaar, these areas attract a large number of visitors, creating opportunities for pickpocketing and other petty crimes. Certain neighborhoods within this district have higher crime rates and inadequate safety measures. Additionally, certain parts of Bird Dubai are known for the bustling nightlife with numerous bars and clubs. While this can be an exciting experience, it is important to exercise moderation and be mindful of personal safety, especially when consuming alcohol. It is advisable to travel in groups, use licensed taxis or ride-sharing services, and avoid walking alone late at night. International City is next on our list. Known for its cultural diversity and architectural splendor, this place harbors its own hidden dangers. This residential and commercial district showcases architectural styles from around the world, but it can be challenging to navigate for first-time visitors. The vastness of International City combined with its complex layout and limited transportation options may make it difficult to explore efficiently. There is a high likelihood of getting lost, facing communication barriers, and encountering difficulties in accessing public transport within this district. While it offers a unique experience to immerse oneself in various cultures, navigating this vast area can be daunting. Visitors should have a well-planned itinerary or consider hiring a local guide to ensure they make the most of their visit without getting lost or overwhelmed. 
Another challenge faced by visitors to International City is the potential communication barrier. As a multicultural district, English may not be widely spoken or understood by everyone. It is advisable to carry a translation app or basic phrases in the local language to facilitate communication with residents, shopkeepers, or service providers. Public transportation options within International City are relatively limited compared to other parts of Dubai. Visitors may encounter difficulties in accessing taxis or ride-sharing services, and the district's vastness may require considerable walking between clusters. It is essential to plan transportation in advance, ensuring access to reliable modes of transportation or considering renting a vehicle to navigate the district comfortably. While navigating Al Nahada is relatively more comfortable with its vibrant communities and residential appeal, it is not without its share of risks. Al Nahada offers a range of amenities, including shopping malls and recreational facilities, but certain areas may have higher instances of petty crime or crowded public spaces. It is advisable to exercise caution, particularly in crowded areas. Visitors are advised to avoid walking alone late at night and to stick to well-lit areas to enhance personal safety. Al Quaz, known for its industrial and commercial sectors, is an area that requires caution. While it may be a popular tourist destination, visitors find themselves in this district for various reasons, such as visiting art galleries or attending events. As we uncover the intricacies of Al Quaz, we shed light on some of the potential safety concerns that visitors may encounter, such as heavy traffic, limited pedestrian infrastructure, and industrial hazards. Al Warka is a residential district in Dubai which may seem inviting at first glance. However, there are hidden risks and lesser known dangers that visitors should be mindful of. While Al Warka offers a peaceful residential environment, it is important to exercise caution when navigating the district, as certain areas may have limited street lighting. Another factor to be mindful of is the infrastructure in certain parts of Al Warka. Some areas may have inadequate pedestrian sidewalks or crossings, making it challenging to navigate on foot. While Al Warka generally maintains a low crime rate, visitors should still exercise general safety precautions. Satwa, a vibrant neighborhood known for its diverse community and lively atmosphere, has its own set of risks. Satwa offers a unique blend of local markets, restaurants, and cultural experiences. But certain areas may have a higher incidence of traffic congestion, pickpocketing, or street vending issues. With its bustling neighborhood that offers a glimpse into the local culture and lifestyle of Dubai, its vibrant markets, delicious restaurants, and lively atmosphere, it is a popular destination for both residents and tourists. One of the challenges in Satwa is the potential for traffic congestion. The neighborhood's narrow streets and popular markets can attract heavy vehicular traffic, leading to congested roads and increased pedestrian risks. Additionally, street vending in Satwa can sometimes create obstructions on sidewalks, making it necessary to walk on the road. Visitors should exercise caution when walking on the road, staying close to the edge and being attentive to oncoming traffic. The last place on our list today is Jebel Ali. With its coastal charm and industrial prominence, it may appear enticing to visitors. However, there are hidden pearls and challenges that lie beneath the surface. While Jebel Ali offers attractions such as the Jebel Ali Beach and the Dubai Parks and Resorts, visitors should be cautious of the industrial areas and construction sites that may pose safety risks. It is crucial to adhere to warning signs following safety guidelines and avoid restricted areas to ensure a secure visit to Jebel Ali. Jebel Ali is a coastal area in Dubai that combines picturesque beachfront with industrial zones which can present potential safety risks, including heavy machinery, transport vehicles, and hazardous materials. When visiting the Jebel Ali beach or any coastal areas of Jebel Ali, it is important to be aware of water safety. Dubai offers a plethora of breathtaking attractions and experiences. However, it's essential to be aware of the less appealing destinations that may not live up to their hype. By considering these insights and recommendations, you can plan your trip more effectively and make the most of your visit to this dazzling city. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Your Travel Buddy. If you've ever visited Dubai and had an underwhelming experience, we encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments below.